Hello. How exciting. <laughs> I mean, what an incredible day for you. Yeah. I mean, let's start at the start. What a start. Uh -huh. How did it feel to be leading the British Grand Prix? <laughs> um, I mean, the main thing, I just want to listen to what the crowd are like. I wish I could hear them. Uh, everyone was saying how insane it was when I got into the lead and things. And uh, wow, uh, yeah, insane, insane to, to lead like Maha while Maha was racing. Um, but it felt good. I felt under control in the beginning. As much as I felt under control, just Max was too quick for us to, to do anything about. And I didn't want to ruin my, my race because I'm trying to fight a Red Bull who's just too quick for us. So it was, was stressful, especially when they put me on the hard tire at the end. I was like, what have you done to me? Let's but, uh, talk about that because actually, you, you know, initially, you, you didn't seem happy about the idea, but then yeah. you got it working. And the, although I just went yeah, to but George it doesn't matter if you get it working. Yeah. If you lost six positions in the first place, <laughs> um, so you'll be having words. No, I, um, it worked out in the end. So there wasn't a wrong or a right decision. It's just would my life have been made a lot easier if I was on a soft tire? The answer is yes. Uh, yeah, so but it's who just, wants an easy life? Exactly. <laughs> uh, you want to fight for it, right? So yeah, it was um, it was a stressful race. There's maybe straightforward as it looked from from the outside um yeah it was stressful from from start to finish oscar was close behind me the whole race um he just got so unlucky we should have had two mclarens on the podium today um stupid safety car came out so it ruined that but uh he deserved a podium he deserved his first podium in formula one so i'm a bit gutted that we couldn't have two two papaya cars up front um, but we'll keep trying. Tell me about defending against Hamilton and then when you broke the DRS, the relief. Wow, yeah, this was, uh, <laughs> this was good. Um, a lot of fun, I mean, he was, he was pushing for it. Uh, we were side by side a lot of it. We were very close around the back. Um, but uh, I chose a slightly lower downforce comparing to what Oscar was, was on, um, just because I thought, come a racing situation, being that little bit quicker in the straight, might save me and uh, when you see that little bit of speed I have on Lewis down the back straight uh, it saved me and uh, I managed to keep you too because of that so little things that you maybe sometimes don't know about which are like uh, very happy you made those decisions and, and things and we were just extremely good in high speed the car was on rails today in high speed and we were so quick I, I managed to gap Lewis every time in the high speed and then slow speed would come and then he'd be back on me so if we can just work on the slow speed we have a car which can easily fight for top 10, top fives a lot more often. Um, Dream yes. bigger? Podiums, wins? No, I mean, I just want to, I don't want to say that. I don't want to get too excited. Yeah. Let's start with the top 10 more often. Um, but we're on the right track. So the team's doing a very good job. We, we do have a lot more work to do and um, we'll keep pushing. Don't take this the wrong way, but you really smell. But it's a beautiful you know smell of champagne. John didn't bring me a new suit. <laughs> so I have to wear the same suit, but I've got a new... Uh, it doesn't matter, it's didn't champagne. Bring my, didn't bring my aftershave, my perfume, oh, my deodorant. Sake. I mean, he's a rookie. Listen, you'd take that, smelling I mean, of champagne John. every day of the week. Come yeah, on. smell it. Chin up. Love it. Well done. Thank you. Um, we're